Hi everybody, welcome to Pedro Lola Mendez. If you are interested in learning how to create cleavage on a flat chest, then definitely keep watching, because I'll teach you everything you need to know about boobies, and more. Before you start putting makeup on your chest, you really need to find the right bra for you. Now this, in fact, is not a bra, it is actually a bathing suit that I got from the Goodwill. It does have a little tiny bit of padding, if I turn to the side you can see. I'm overweight so I have a little bit of cushion here. Um, but my bra of choice is, for drag, is this big one, and it's a 48D, which fits me quite well. I mean, obviously I have to stuff the cup, but this is what you need. I tried ones that had a wider strap right here, it didn't really work for me, so this one's low cut. It does go up quite a bit here, but it definitely gives me the support that I need in the band and the straps and this bra is actually from Serenada so S E R E N A D A no but this bathing suit that I'm wearing is a miracle suit and the reason I wear this bathing suit while I'm in drag is because it's way not my size it's a lot smaller than me so it sucks me in at my waist I don't really need a girdle I mean I could still use a corset and all that but that's why I use this, and I can put the bra right on top of this, and we're good to go. Sometimes I can just stuff this, and you really don't even need the bra, but that's enough of that. I typically do my chest contour and my face contour at the same time, so I would naturally put my Kryolan TV paint stick in the color 3W all over my face and my neck and my chest area. So I did my face, and now I'm going to show you how to do this. So... This is my Krylon TV paint stick. I'm not going to worry about my neck because I already did that. I'm wearing the robe for, you know, because I'm modest. So you're just going to put this all over your chesticles. And it looks like a lot because it is a lot. You need a lot. And for my foundation, I use this Real Techniques brush. And it works quite well on my boobulas as well. I mean, it's probably a lot easier to use your hand, but this will leave you a more flawless finish and you're just going to end up being happier. But as you can see, I had a lot of discoloration on my chest, a couple of freckles, and what this is going to do is really just going to hide it, give you a completely fresh canvas, and you're going to be looking flawless soon enough. And make sure you get under your bra because you really don't want to have a line. So if you did your foundation like this and then it came down like that, you don't want to really be affected too much by that. So definitely prepare for war. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a highlight in my breasts. So for that I'm going to use my Krylon Clown White. And all I'm going to do is take my finger in the clown white and I'm gonna go right up the center of my chest right up the center like that and then sort of make like a lollipop if that makes sense and then blend it all together So it's not very noticeable and that's pretty much the point because you don't want to be too dramatic until you get the darker contour going on. The way you find out where you need to draw your boobs is you take your fleshy part of your boob, you kind of push it together, and you can sort of see this shadow right here. And then if I keep getting foundation all over myself. And if you push both of your boobies together, you can get that line. If you tape your breasts, you will be able to keep that line. I am not interested in taping my boobies just for YouTube videos. So I'm going to contour right around here with my cream contour. And for that, I'm going to be using this Black Opal True Color. I don't know if you can see that. And this is in the color Carob, C-A-R-O-B. And this is pretty much just like the Krylon TV paint stick, except it's much darker colors because this is made for much darker people. So, 
if I'm push my chest together, I can go up with this stick and have my breasts right like that. But for big girls, we have to contour big because everything's bigger. So you want to make sure that it's a big circle. And you're going to do that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Like that. Now, I'm going to use this e.l.f. foundation brush. And I already used it to blend out my contour on my face. And I'm just going to do the same thing with my chest. So don't let these two black lines connect because that's just not what you want. So you take it and you start blending it out. And eventually this is gonna create a shadow and it's gonna make it look like you have real boobs, which is good. Unless you don't want boobs. So I'm just gonna continue to blend You really want these to be symmetrical because they're fake. It's going to be a lot more noticeable if they aren't. So you can kind of take your finger and do like a windshield wiper and just kind of smudge those boobies around. And then bring it down because no one's really going to see anything lower than that. Now if you do it too high, because clearly my boobs aren't going to go way up here, you can go in, take it off with a little bit of tissue. Now if you wipe off your original foundation, you can get your Cryolan TV paint stick, go back in on each side, and then blend it back out. Now you can keep going in with the foundation if you need it to blend out a little bit more softly for you, but if you want it really harsh and dramatic like I've had it in a couple of my videos, just use a lot more of the black opal because as you can see it's really dark and you really don't need a lot in order to do this. Okay, so the next step to making boobies is powdering your skin because you don't want wet foundation it's just not cute so I'm gonna take my here I'll show you I'm gonna take my airspun loose face powder this is what people call Cody powder so if you have no idea what Cody powder is it's gonna be in this orange little container you can find it at Walmart CVS Walgreens any kind of drugstore like that you should be able to find this this powder puff comes with it. I don't really like that. I have this little powder puff. It's a lot easier for me. So what I do is I just take this little lid off because it kind of gets in your way. And now you have a little jar of powder. Nothing on it. So get your little powder puff. Dip it in. Don't get too much on. And then look in your mirror. And puff, 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 puff. If you're worried about your chest being too matte, you can get body glitter, you can get a loose eyeshadow pigment and, you know, give it a little bit of shimmer, but I like matte makeup, I'm all about that. So now I'm going to take my big fan brush and fan away all of this extra powder that got all over me. The next thing, this is my Holy Grail product. This is my L'Oreal True Match Ultra Super Blendable Powder. I use the color C8, it's cocoa, and I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush brush, so get some of that in, and then go back and start to contour where that cream was. So you can really see the difference with the contour powder and then just before, and it's really going to give you that added, like, intensity and volume in your chest.
you can go back to your Cody powder. You can dip this brush in it. Make sure to tap away the extra so you don't get a whole cloud of it. And then just come back in and really buff that in. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is pay more attention to the center in between my breasts. And I'm going to take more of that Cody powder right here. Because this is where the light would naturally catch your chest. So you're going to focus a lot of your attention right in there and blend it up. And then you can pinch your brush so that it's smaller and bring it right down. Another thing that I really like to do is get my Ben Nye Super White Powder and you can just add even more definition. Tap it off, go right here in the middle, and then up into that kind of triangle area. You can see how like white that just made it and you can even go in I'm going to go in with my finger this time, right into my powder, and just get some of it all over here. So if you need to make sure that you blended everything, you can go back in with that blush brush and just kind of tidy everything up. You can take that clean fan brush and just kind of buff it all in. And as you can see, I have breasticles now. So this is how you use makeup to contour your breasts for drag. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on how to create cleavage for drag queens. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this has been Pedro Lola Mendez on a boob tutorial, and I'll see you very soon.